right? So we have in our last lecture we have discussed about the gastrulation, right? In the gastrulation, in the formation of the ectoderm, endoderm, and mesoderm, the ectodermal cells were going deeper inside to the primitive groove. But now we are making a beautiful thing right now, right? And that beautiful thing is called notochord. Right. So, in our last lecture, we have discussed that the epidermal cells, that you can see the ectodermal cells actually, the ectodermal cells will migrate through, or you can say, the go deeper inside through the primitive groove. But now, these ectodermal cells, these ectodermal cells will go deeper inside through this primitive pit. Right. This is the key point, you have to remember it. In the gastrulation, the whole ectodermal cells will go deeper inside to the primitive streak. Or you can say the primitive groove, right? But now, in the making of the notochord, the ectodermal cells will go deeper inside. These arrows are representing that the ectodermal cells will go deeper inside through these primitive pit, right? So when the ectodermal cells will go deeper inside to the primitive pit, they will move go deeper, they will go deeper inside and then they will move cordially or cephalically, right? So if you can see here, if you can come in the, this three-dimensional three image, this is endoderm in the green marker, this is red marker is called mesoderm and between these two mesoderm cells, the mesoderm is one, right? So between the mesoderm cells, or you can say between the mesoderm layer, there is a structure, and this structure is called the notochord. And the notochord formation will occur. How the notochord formation will occur? The ectodermal cells will go deeper inside through this primitive pit, and they will go deeper inside, right? And then they will go deeper inside, and then they will move. Or they will move cranially, cephalically, right, towards the precordal plate, right. As you can see, here is the precordal plate. I will tell you the different derivatives of the precordal plate in the next lecture, right. So, the ectodermal cells will go deeper inside and they will go deeper through the primitive pit and then they will move cephalically or towards the precordal plate. As you can see here, this is our this is the frontal area, right? You are facing like this. This is frontal area, and if we see in this lateral side, this is called the ectoderm. This is called endoderm, and this is the meso one, the mesoderm, right? So here it is our the primitive pit. So the ectodermal cells will go in the primitive pit, they will go deeper inside and they will go cephalically, right? Towards the precordal plate. Right? So when the ectodermal cells will go through this primitive pit, they will go deeper inside, then they will go towards the precordal plate or to cephalically, a tube-like structure is formed and this tube-like structure is called the notochord. Right? This structure is called notochord. And this beautiful notochord is actually the reason of the neurotation. This notochord will make different other things of the brain, of the central nervous system, right? So we have made the notochord over here. Now this notochord will release many growth factors, right? This notochord will release many growth factors, right? And this notochord, right? And the dorsal mesoderm. I can repeat again this notochord and this mesoderm, the dorsal mesoderm will urge the ectodermal cells to make a plate over here. Again, this notochord, 
right? And the dorsal mesoderm will urge the ectodermal cells to make a thickening, right? To make a flat surface, and that surface is called the neural plate, right? So this is this flat surface is called. As you can zoom here, 